has a 25 inch 240 hertz refresh rate monitor. 240 hertz. Just what the, what the why? That's the intro. What's up guys, Caleb here with another installment of Reality Check and today we are talking gaming monitors, particularly the Alienware AW2518H. Most likely the only time I'm going to get that right, so we're just going to call it the 25 inch 240Hz monitor from now on, from Alienware. That's still too long. I'm just going to call it the AW25. So today is all about the AW25. We're talking incredible build quality, crazy fast response time and that 240Hz refresh rate, which is just unnecessary like i mean it's good and there's obviously a difference but i mean damn 240 hertz bro so obviously this particular monitor is targeted specifically at gamers like you're not going to go buy this for your grandma and be like here you go granny like no this is obviously just for gamers but in this day and age is it wise to buy something that only has one particular function that only serves one use Let's talk about it in a little bit more detail. The build quality of the AW25 is awesome. Firstly, the stand is super rugged, super heavy, really robust. It almost feels kind of like a weapon. But overall, aesthetically, it's got a very sleek, minimal, angular design, which I'm a huge fan of. On the front, it's got a matte black finish for the panel and the front of the stand. On the back, it's got like a matte gray silver finish, which just looks really, really slick. Also on the back, we have RGB lighting, which can be set to one color or rotating through the rainbow wheel inside the screen setting. So that's pretty cool, but for me, I don't understand why people have RGB on the back of their monitors. Like, you can't see it. All you're seeing is the reflection of your wall. But, I mean, I guess cool nonetheless. It's kind of pointless to me. One thing I will say, though, about that is that I really do like the way the Alienware logo looks when it's lit up. That is like a super sleek premium finish. The screen is attached to the stand very quickly and very easy. It basically just clips right on, making setup a complete breeze. And then on top of that, the stand allows you to adjust it vertically in terms of the vertical tilt. You can adjust the actual height, and then you can also adjust the horizontal orientation. So the flexibility of it is super dope. You can pretty much view it from whatever angle you want. Moving on to the port selection, you are equipped with plenty of options. There's a display 1.2, HDMI 1.4, which I thought was a stupid choice at least in, on my part it's like it's an archaic version of hdmi but you also have four usb 3 ports as well as a usb pass-through that's included in the purchase so that's pretty cool and it gives you plenty of options if you like plugging lots of peripherals jumping to the other side now talking about the more important things we have a 25 inch 1080p TN panel that is G-Sync enabled. Now there's also an AW25 that comes with FreeSync and it's substantially less expensive. Now the first thing I want to point out when looking at this panel is just how deliciously thin the bezels are. They are tiny. Now the chin obviously now we're standing but even then that is relatively small as well. It just makes the screen, the display pop overall when you have such thin bezels surrounding it. And then on top of that, if you had multiple displays with thin bezels, this would be a good option for multiple displays. So that's pretty cool. Now, as I said before, this monitor is specifically targeted to gamers. So it's not really an option you should look at if you're looking to do any kind of productivity tasks, color grading, graphic designing, stuff like that, where you need the most color accurate screen that you get. That being said though, it does have 96% sRGB coverage. So those colors are there, but I think you're definitely gonna have to do a bit of tweaking to get it to a point where you'd be happy with it. But for me personally, just like from a flat, kind of plain layman's perspective, I thought the colors were pretty decent out of the box. With a contrast ratio of a thousand to one, there's also a really decent representation of the blacks and the whites, especially when they're bumped or crushed, and there's still fair amounts of detail in them. But something I will say, and this is why I don't understand why there's an HDMI 1.4, you plug in with the HDMI 1.4 and you have virtually no contrast. Now obviously that's because HDMI 1.4 only supports 8-bit, so there's a whole lot less information running through there, but it's literally unusable. There's no detail in the shadows whatsoever. So that's just a weird choice for me. The brightness comes in at 370 nits, which is well above the average for your gaming monitor. So I was perfectly happy with that. I have no issues with the brightness whatsoever. Now, the main selling feature of this monitor, the AW25, is the 240 hertz refresh rate coupled with the one millisecond response time. Now, Make no mistake, 240 hertz is ridiculously fast and factually speaking, it's double the amount of information that you'd be getting from a 120 hertz refresh panel. 
but you can clearly and easily see the difference from 60 to 120. It becomes a lot harder when you're going from 120 to 144 and then even more because you're going from 144 to 240. That amount of time is getting smaller and smaller and smaller the higher your refresh rate goes. But that's not to say that it doesn't make a difference. All that being said, the gaming experience I had on this monitor was hella fluid. Even the desktop experience, the amount of refreshes you could see in the mouse, playing any game that was kicking out 240 frames per second, you could see all those refreshes of those frames happening there. So that's really nice. Gaming is extremely fluid, very little motion blur. Very happy with that. Here's an example. So there is no denying the difference there. Obviously you need slow motion to see it, but what that does is allow your capabilities or your skills, your reflexes to reach their full potential. It does not inherently make you a better gamer. If you are good and you can be better, this will allow you to be better. It's as simple as that. Another important feature that is obviously targeted at gamers is the one millisecond response time. Now that is pretty much as low as it can get, which is perfect for professional gaming. So 10 out of 10 in that regard as well. So the last couple of things to touch on are some of the extra features. So firstly, it has a feature called darkness stabilizer. Now this can be applied across all your picture presets in the monitor. And essentially what it does is it bumps the quality or at least the exposure of your shadows in your picture. But the effect is pretty awful. It adds crazy pixelation and what do you call that? Uh, you Artifacting. Thank you. It adds crazy artifacting to the picture. So I don't use it, turn it all the way down. You just have to balance it with brightness and contrast. Thirdly, there are a whole lot of customizable picture presets. You get options for first person shooter, real time strategy, RPG. You get gaming mode one, two, and three. You get comfort view. So all the basic kind of gaming features for picture profiles that you might get from a gaming monitor. So that's pretty cool. And you can customize all of them. And lastly, the thing I want to touch on is the damn controls for monitors. Can someone fix this alien way? I expect better. Like, okay, fair enough. It's better than a lot of monitor controls that I've used, but it's still trash, trash. Make, do, do better, do better. So that pretty much wraps it up for the AW25, guys. Without a doubt, that 240 hertz refresh rate and one millisecond response time is going to give you the competitive edge over other gamers, as long as you have the skills to back it up. And it also doesn't necessarily fall short with regards to color either. So whilst I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for professionals using it for productivity, I think this is an excellent option if let's say you're a YouTube streamer or a gamer who loves to edit videos on the side, upload them to YouTube, then this is probably a really goodbye for you. Anyways guys, that pretty much wraps it up for the AW2518H from Alienware. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this monitor. I didn't do the price. Did you snap all of those gas bubbles off that finger? Mm. This monitor comes in at about nine and a half thousand rand for the G-Sync one on Eve Tech, and then six and a half thousand rand for the FreeSync one. And with that, you're getting a really awesome panel for competitive gaming. It's definitely giving you that competitive edge thanks to the refresh rate and the response time over other gamers as long as you have the skills to back it up. And then it also doesn't necessarily fall short with regards to color either. Anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this week's installment of Reality Check. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about the AW2518H Woo! In the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys next week for another installment of Reality Check. Peace!